Voice Notes from London To the secondary school kids with oversized blazers, shrilling broken lyrics at the back of the 453 bus. To the dare-faced, gum-covered, muddy-foot-printed, sticky steps into Farringdon Station after 5.03pm. To the unnamed, green-clad, sweet-corn man at his secret stall, who serves me kernels doused in spicy Mexican chilli. To the sweet old lady at Mason Berta, tucked away between the adult stores and Soho strip clubs. She packs my heartbreak and cheesecake into paper boxes, ties it with purple ribbon. To Ivy, who lives next door, who told me she went to Kathmandu in the 60s and never quite came back, and I half believe her. To Darren at the hardware store on Portway Road, who winked a green eye and offered me a discount on a plunger, along with his name scribbled on a card with his number. To the friend who recently declared that he's going through a divorce, and would want to meet new people and move into a new place. His greatest idea is, I will move to East London. Mate, I don't know. To the leaking garlic beneath my window frame as I sat in Leicester Square for the 11th hour, googling Tokyo, Paris, Barcelona, chewing my fingertips and swallowing my own skin with hot black tea. To the uncles of Poplar Market, whose marketing strategy is a siren song of lettuce, cucumber, mooly, jackfruit and mango, all for a pound a bowl. To the two types of Londoners, the traffic light ignorers and the snail-paced shoppers. Thank you for teaching me that patience truly is a virtue. To the 10p Freddos at Mr Singh's superstores, for teaching me financial planning from an early age. To Grenfell Tower and every other London building that could still be with us, but isn't. I've never forgotten you. I will never forget you. We will never forget you. To the London kid in the parish of the corner shop, learning the language of busman, hands gambling for spare change. Mind the gap between 16 and your freedom pass. Between grey snowmen and people chancing life. On bloated pedestrian walkways glancing the vacuum-packed place. Shrunken and slipped into a city I do not recognise.